2018 Reserve Cabernet, uh, just as easily as I can put this, is just an incredible wine. And it, in, in a way, it kind of bookends the, the pandemic in a, in a funny kind of way. We began to blend this wine on the 20th of March, which was, the, I think, the first Friday we were shut down. And uh, after the shock of the initial shutdown kind of wore off, I thought, well, the first bonus of being at home and, not, and having all of my events canceled, which I had quite a few for the remainder of uh, spring and summer in 2020, was that I'll be able to focus a lot of attention on finishing the blending trials for the 2018 vintage, which is great because I I knew we all knew this was a a tremendous vintage. I've, I've called it a super vintage from the beginning. Uh, it just was a terrific growing season, perfect in almost every regard. Um, and there's that crowd pleasing, just sweet vein of deep, beautiful fruit that uh, only comes along, you know, once or twice a decade. Um, I mean, it reminded me a little bit of 07, but I think the 18s actually have more structure, more uh, sort of obvious savory qualities right now, in addition, a bigger tannin structure, but incredible texture. So, this is truly uh, a super vintage. So, I just want to mention the star of, of this blend is the uh, 337 clone of Cabernet, which comes from Bordeaux. We, we grow two clones of Cabernet from Bordeaux. Um, and this one, I think, really for the first time, is it's almost a single vineyard wine. It's got 5% Cabernet Franc in it. Uh, but this clone for its first eight years was pretty rustic and always went into the Napa Cab. And then in 2006, it just went through a personality change. And all of a sudden, the sweet red cherry, uh, beautiful side of it emerged um, in its eighth or ninth leaf in 2006. Um, but it is the star for, for 2018. The little bit of Cabernet Franc just to bring out a little bit more high-toned uh, floral aromas and just a little bit more uh, mid-palate texture. But th this is really a terrific bottle of wine that is really going to live for a long, long time. So this is a cellar-worthy wine. It's only 700 cases produced. Um, I showed it for the first time to the trade uh, this last week in Atlanta, uh, and it was extraordinarily well received. So this is going to be in high demand from the trade, which is the broad market. So I do recommend to our our direct customers and our wine club members to uh, buy this wine sooner rather than later and, uh, and put it put as much of this as you possibly can in your cellar, you will be rewarded. I get this question all the time, you know, what's the favorite age to drink your wines? And uh, it usually involves a conversation, and do you like your wines younger, or do you like them older? So, but I just came up with a number, it was 15. Um, and if you, if you do buy this wine and you drink it when it's 15 years old, uh, which I guess would be um, 11 years from now, um, you will be struck by how youthful uh, and how strong this wine still is and how pretty and how young that fruit is. I mean, this wine's gonna last a long, long time. So a true cellar gem. Um, if you decant it now, you, you will be able to enjoy it uh, with a meal. Uh, so I recommend uh, to our, our dear customers, get this one early and often and, uh, and sock some away. You will, you will simply not regret this. So enjoy this great, great vintage, 2018 Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon.